Hey, what's up, Virgos? I am here to give you guys just a quick message. I know the last message that I put up, it may not resonate with everyone. Okay, so I want to go ahead and put up another message um, for y'all just to see what energy does come out. Okay, so this message is for Virgo, Great Spirit. What messages do you have for Virgos? Okay, Great Spirit, this is a message for Virgo. I'm going to try to keep this. Um, I was specifically, it's like I'm getting eight minutes. So it's like Spirit is telling me to keep it at eight minutes or something. It could be something about eight minutes or the number eight. Okay. So we have, ooh, Virgos. I think we're diving into part of the energy that's been trying to come out. Um, and it's like... I stopped one video um, and didn't put it up. And then it kind of came, this energy tried to come out a little bit in um, the reading that I did post, but it didn't come out too much. And I think this is the reading that's going to tell us about that. So um, Virgo, Spirit is saying to cut off some type of, um, some type of, um, Oh, what am I? It starts with the D. The letter D could be very important, okay? David Darnell, your name could start with the D as well, okay? But it's giving me the energy that decept deceptive. Cut off some type of deceptive energy, okay? Um, it's somebody is like doesn't have your best interest at hand. Someone's trying to play you. Someone's trying to play games. Um, someone, someone's not doing something right in your energy, but you already know this, and you already have cut them off. Or spirit is telling you to cut this off, okay? It's like yeah, you're moving into a new direction. I also feel like um. This may not be anyone specific here, Virgo, with this Five of Swords. This just could have been the type of lifestyle or energy that you were in before. You could have been dealing with a whole bunch of people that were out to get you or people that really just didn't have your best interests at hand, relationships where people was trying to beat you and win at all costs. And, you know, just being this type of nasty type of energy. You know what I mean? This is somebody that was just nasty. Um, someone that's just not pure. Someone that has ill intent intentions okay people situations maybe your money was in this situation just a lot of different energies with this five of swords here okay i feel like multiple people were involved as well okay um i just feel like that's just the energy that your life was in okay it just seems like every time you turned around it was some somebody else trying to be sneaky or somebody else trying to you know get over on you or try to take advantage of you or something like that and it's like you woke up to this energy and you said uh uh, I'm not living this type of lifestyle. I'm not living around these type of people. Everybody getting cut off. So I feel like you started all over, Virgo. I feel like you just cut everybody off. Literally, I feel like you literally cut everybody off. Your phone may be dry as hell right now because you literally cut everybody off. I saw 303 on the phone. You could have been having dreams or you, you were being guided, intuitively led uh, to this as well, Virgo. Yeah, you've cut these people off and they're crying. I heard take your sword back Virgo I feel like this is you as well I feel like you took every, I feel like you finally I, I feel like you you cut you cut them on the, you cut them at the throat it's like you you cut their neck off it's kind of the energy I'm getting it's like you was like oh y'all wanna y'all y'all think fat meat ain't greasy <laughs> Virgo, y'all say, oh, y'all think fat meat ain't greasy because I feel like whoever these people are, they were like, they had their swords and they just kept poking the bear in the zoo. They kept putting their swords up, trying to cut, trying to come at you, trying to cut you, trying to stab you, trying to be manipulative towards you, trying to do all these things towards you, Virgo. And then you said, oh, okay, y'all think I ain't got no swords? Y'all think, y'all think y'all could just play me? And you said, you said, bitch, give me your sword, bitch, give me your sword, bitch, give me your sword. And you took all you you got your swords and you took their swords. It's kind of like the it's like they were the bully messing with you, but they didn't know that you, that you could whoop their ass. Because it's like you know your power, you know if you would have if you actually react or respond, I ain't going to say react, but if you respond or re, if you did react, you know. But it's kind of like that you would have beat their ass, to, so to speak. You get what I'm saying? You would have caused a lot of damage because you know how powerful that you are, 444. You know that you got Archangel Michael with you, baby. You know that you have spiritual and divine protection over you. So you was like, let me spare these people because they don't even know they fucking with a black belt. So let them, let me just let them think that they being a bully. But you got tired of that and you was like, 
you just pulled out the big ones and you took their sword. And then you put up a sword and said, you can't come back this way. It's like, now they running home crying. Like, Virgo did me wrong. Virgo did me so wrong. It's like, bitch, you did yourself wrong. <laughs> and it's like, and you just going on about your merry little way. Virgos, okay. Yeah, you got tired of all of that. And you, you, you was like, I'm not doing that no more. So it's like, they got the right one today. If that's what you said. Now they could be trying to offer you like a peace offering. Somebody could be trying to come back and apologize. Or somebody could, you know, be wanting to make up with you. Or try to, you know, give you some type of peace offering. Because they're burdened. And this could have caused you a burden as well. It's kind of like, it was frustrating. This could have been people telling lies about you. Spreading rumors. This could have been people that was just trying to like, Oh, let me see if I can get over on, on, on Virgo. And it's like, you moving forward to something, to something new here. You have something coming in very quickly. Something is arriving. I heard something is arriving. You literally could have some type of package arriving. Look, we got the seven of swords here as well. It's kind of like some people don't get the message, though. Some people trying to come back for more. It's like some people want to be like, oh, okay, Virgo Virgo did that. Let me go back and try to get Virgo. But it's like you're not in that type of energy. It's like somebody wants to play this game or try to be in this, this tussle with you or something like that, Virgo. Somebody wants you to keep arguing with them because as long as you do, then it's like they still got you. They're, they're, at least they get to see you. At least they get to hear your voice. At least they get to be in your energy. Or at least they, they know that they can get you riled up or something. It's like, Virgo, don't even fall for that. Okay? Yeah. It's like, look. Look what wants to come out. Look what wants to come out. Yeah, I'm telling you. Somebody trying to hurry up and rush back in. But it's like, as quick as they come in, it's like they get they going right out the door. It's like they trying to charge at you, but then you move out the way. And then it's like they fall off the cliff. That's the energy that I'm... Ooh! Virgo, Anna was 707 on the phone. Y'all got protection. I'm telling you, these people, they, 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 they making their own demise. Did y'all, that card just fell when I said that. They falling. These sneaky people, they're falling. And look at you, still standing. Spirit ain't gonna let you fall, Virgo. Oh my gosh, that is funny. Guess what? It's the burden ones that fail too. So any burdens that you did have, Virgo, it's falling to the wayside. You ain't gonna have to deal with no type of burdens or anything like that, okay? Virgo, this is bananas. Let's see what's coming out, okay? This gonna be a little bit longer than eight minutes because, baby, we coming up on eight minutes right now, <laughs> okay? Y'all hear that? Look, <laughs> I'm telling y'all, Virgos, we got the Six of Swords here. Okay, I saw 808 on the phone as well. Virgos, you are moving forward. I'm telling y'all, look, the city, the city is alive. Let me tell y'all that. The city is alive. Okay, but anyways, yeah, Virgo, look, we got the Five of Swords and the Six of Swords. You're moving forward. Something I heard dangerous. You're moving forward out of any dangerous type of situation. You are protected. Comment down below. I am protected. You have. I heard a shield of protection. You have a shield of protection over you or you need to, I'm hearing the white light. You have a white light or a shield of protection or maybe you need to do, um, you know, put shield yourself you know what i mean like protect yourself is what i'm picking up on you know make sure you're doing what you can here okay your blessings are protected your your whatever you're getting at this time is protected we have this high priestess here spirit is telling you to use your intuition to guide you at this time virgo yes your intuition is guiding you to this new beginning this Knight of Wands energy that I said is coming in very quickly, that's you moving forward. You are moving forward very quicker, very quickly. You're moving forward quicker than what you realize, Virgo. So I heard something coming in like the wind. So something's just going to like flow in with the wind and all of a sudden it's going to be there. All of a sudden this wind is like literally pushing you into this new direction or something away from all of this negative energy. Okay, you could be in some type of energy that's um, that's not the best, but you don't even realize it because 
of how protected you are. It's like these people can't touch you. So you could be at work or it could be wherever you are, right? And it's kind of like, it's, it, it, it's to you, it's the safest place. You get what I'm saying? But it's really could be dangerous people around or, yeah, because I heard dangerous. And then the, something's about the letter D. Something about the letter D as well. Um, your name could start with a D, like I said, Diana, Donna, Demetrius, Demir, something like that. I don't know here, but it's kind of like, um, to you, maybe you're at work and the type of people you work with, they could be talking about you, Virgo. They could be, it could just be toxic. Some of the people could be just, just, ugh, just not good people or whatever the case may be. They could have it out for you or even if it's nothing to do with you, just the people that you work with, just who they are, what they got going on, even in their personal lives could be dangerous. You get what I'm saying? Sidebar, I worked at a restaurant for a very short period of time. Cool ass job. Everybody up there, you know, they pretty much smoked, did all that stuff, right? It was this white boy that that worked there. <laughs> he went outside to get some to get that good good to you know to get to to get what he what he needed, and they robbed him right there. They robbed him right there in the parking lot. He was on work. He was like, "I'll be right back." He ran outside, thought he was about to make the make the exchange, and they robbed his ass. We had to call the police. It was bananas. You get what I'm saying? So what I'm saying, this was a this was like about two months back. So what I'm saying is, but it's say where you are, it could be stuff just that you don't even realize because of the people you're around or the community you're in or something like that, but you're still safe and protected. And for you, you don't feel any of that. You may be, you may hear about it or you may be like, oh, snaps, that just happened. But you're protected. You're protected anywhere you go on this earth because of who you are. But spirit is saying to also use your human or your, your 3D wisdom and your use your brain and so forth, but you are always guided and protected. Always look for the signs and synchronicities, especially if you ever are in a true, truly dangerous situation, Virgo, know that you are protecting. The spirit is going to give you the, the signs that you need to move forward. Just like with this situation, whatever this is, okay? But yeah, I'm gonna put this back up here, okay? Great spirit, what messages do you have for Virgo? This is for Virgos. Great spirit, what messages do you have for Virgos? Any more messages for Virgos? Okay. Yeah, something is coming to an end, Virgo. You put something to an end with this death energy. Could have been a Scorpio. You could have let a Scorpio go. Yeah, all of this nasty type of energy, this death type of energy and all that. This 1313 was on the phone. That's a Scorpio. Definitely was a Scorpio. Or either you got Scorpio in your chart. But I feel like, Virgo, y'all let go of a Scorpio possibly, okay? Virgo, what is going on? But any of this type of energy, you're not even going to have to deal with this type of energy at all. You, 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 you're, you've been moved forward. It's, yeah, you're moving forward because it's a hard end. That cycle is done and over with. Like I said, this could have been a lifestyle that you were in or that you were living or, you know, just, just not in the right situations. But it's like that whole entire lifestyle is done and over for you. And look at what you get in the end. Oh, guess what else is here? We have the Knight of, of Wands, right? And this is falling under it. So guess what, Virgos? You have a home that is coming in for you quickly. For those of you, um, I will forever speak on um, home situations. So I know everyone's on different timelines. If there's anyone that's dealing with a situation where they don't have a home or there, there's a, a housing situation, you have a home that's coming in for you very quickly. So just hold your horses. It's coming, okay? That's word. Word to my mother. You, you, you feel what I'm saying? So don't worry. Everything is in divine timing. I was there. Trust me. I know. And as you guys can see, how quickly I, I have elevated. 
if you guys go literally just back a few videos, you guys will literally see my elevation and, and where I was to where I'm at now. And baby, this is just the beginning. So if I've elevated this far this quickly and it didn't happen that it will happen quickly, but it was after, uh, I mean, ye I'm about to get it. it. It was after years of struggle boom boom i deserve to be where i'm at now and baby i'm not even what i want to be because i got big huge dreams and goals this is literally just a stepping stone and just the beginning for me baby please yeah something you're protected virgo but i'm letting you know your your home is protected make sure you protect your home okay yeah, look, you guys have a brand new beginning, and that's the truth. You guys have two new aces that are here. The way you talk is even different, I'm hearing. A, a brand new communication, a brand new communication that's coming in, possibly. But yeah, you, you're blocking all that other energy out here. You set your boundaries here, Virgos. Okay, I'm going to just get a quick um, message just to close this out, because I didn't want this to be long anyways here. Okay, great spirit. What messages do you... Okay, I'm going to take this. As y'all see, this is it's like on top of my thumb here. Namaste. The sleigh in me recognizes the sleigh in you. Virgos, I'm telling y'all, y'all out here slaying in this bitch. Y'all slaying. I'm going to read it. It says, at some point, you got to get up and act like the people you admire. You probably know someone who is slaying at life right now. Spend today doing the shit they do. Better yet, take them to coffee and ask them how exactly they managed to slay so hard. Then recognize where you are capable of the same kind of slay. So you're paying attention to people that it's like you're slaying right now, Virgo. And there could be other people around you that are slaying or people that you admire and look up to as well, Virgo. And Spirit is saying if, you, if you're if you able to have access to those people, then do what you need to do to have access to those people. Sometimes they pay. You got to pay to be in these rooms. You can't be afraid to invest in yourself. Do y'all know how much I've had to invest in myself? And it's paid off every single time. You got to pay to get in these rooms. You got to pay to talk to these people. So whoever it is that you look up to, make sure you get uh, you have the conversation with them. Make sure that you get in the same rooms as these people. Or if it's somebody that you know and you can actually connect with them, it could be a boss that you admire or something. Take them to lunch or say, hey, can I, can I, can I sit with you for a moment? You get what I'm saying? And, and just have the conversation because you're slaying right now. It's time for you to slay and forget about all this other nonsense. And it says three ways to fail at everything in life. Complain about everything, blame others for your problems, and never be grateful. So Virgo, make sure that you're not complaining about nothing or that you're not blaming other people. But I don't feel you are. I feel like these other people were doing that and that's why you blocking them out. Okay, great spirit. Let's get another one. This is for Virgo. Virgos. What messages do you have for Virgos? take these two you can't have a positive af life with a negative mind okay we keep some of these same ones they keep wanting to come out but you we, uh, well i'll get this one first this one was on top stay away from people who make you feel like you're hard to love exactly those are those people who are complaining those are those people that was in that five of swords energy those are those people who were never grateful and all of that type of stuff get away from that you need to get away from those energies okay it's like maybe you like to hang out and socialize and party a little bit and so you are hanging out with people that like to do that too but you're the good person that like to do that so to speak you have some morals and values and you still just because you're hanging out in, in a certain place doesn't mean that you're like the people that you're hanging around it's kind of like you're the angel in the crowd but it's like you still want to have some fun but the people that you are hanging around or something like that they they have they they were not as pure as you but you are hanging around them because you know they had that same interest of you liking to hang out or party or whatever you know something like that but spirit is saying there are people that are on your level that are slaying just how you are in life and in business that look good smell good virgo and they also still like to hang out and party you just need to be with those type of people higher level you you deserve to be in high you you deserve to be in in social clubs you know hanging out in and and lounging versus in actual 
late night clubs, that type of thing. I don't know that's who that's for. I don't club, so that definitely ain't for me. But you get what I'm saying. That's the type of energy that's that's here, okay? Look, y'all ask me, I be at the house. <laughs> I be at the house, Virgo. Okay? I mean, I, I hang out. I go out, but exclusively, if that makes sense. I don't, I don't just go anywhere. I'm exclusive. And that's how you have to be, Virgo. You have to pay attention to where you go. You can't be on the scene every week. or all, It's like you're not exclusive. Everybody see you. Everybody got access to you, Virgo. You too exclusive for that. It's like, mm -mm, be exclusive, Virgo. Pay attention. Be specific about the places that you visit, about the places that you hang out is what I'm saying. And maybe you were hanging out in the wrong type of environments or with the wrong type of people or the attention that it brought to you. And this says you are not required to <laughs> you are not required to set yourself on fire to keep other people warm. That's the same damn thing. You need to stay away from these people that make you feel unlovable or that make you feel like you ain't the ish or whatever. And you, you don't have to set yourself on fire. You don't have to be the one making a sacrifice for these people and all that. You better start slaying. You better get you a whole new wardrobe or Fix yourself up. I don't know what, what it is, but you need to level yourself up. Talk different. Walk different. Go get you a different perfume, cologne. Get your hair cut. Whatever you need to do. You need to be different. You need to show up different. And you need to slay. Focus on your business. Focus on your goals. Focus on, on, on your health. There's so many things you could be focusing in on. Well, you ain't got to deal with these type of people. You need to put an end to that. And don't be afraid to put an end to these people and move forward to your new home. Move forward to your new blessings. Move forward to your new sleigh. But I feel like that's what you did. Like I said, Virgo, you did that. You cut these people off. You let these people go. You let them go. You let them go, Virgo. So these are your messages, okay, Virgos? I just wanted to bring you guys another read because the other one was kind of more so a love read here. But this is really explaining a lot more here. And again, this could have been lovers. This could have been anybody, okay? Um, everybody can get it. That's the inner type of energy. Virgo, that's what you said. You was like, everybody can get it. Like, fuck out of here. <laughs> like, this is you taking their swords. Like, get out of here. But anyways, Virgos, I love y'all. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. You guys can also shop my Amazon wish list if you guys want to donate a deck, okay? It'll be sent to me, okay? I would definitely appreciate that as well, okay? I'll use it for the community, okay? Also, Virgos, um, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you all in the next one. I am Nayla Latrice. Peace.